let's just start with a word of prayer and just thank God for this day and thank God for his mercies that are new every morning and thank God for protection. Thank God for provision. Thank God for every business to go before God and say, God, we see you in this and this area of our life and we just want to acknowledge you and we just want to thank you. And we thank you that you've kept us from Monday and today's Sunday. By your grace, we are here. Can we just please go before God and thank him for everything? Heavenly Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father God, we just want to take this opportunity to come before your throne and acknowledge you and say, God, we thank you. We thank you because that we serve a God who's able to do exceedingly abundantly and above what we can think, ask, or imagine. Father, we thank you because we see you protect us daily. Lord, we thank you because we see you provide for us and our families daily. Mudimwaka. We thank you because we see your hand in our careers. We see your hand in our health. We see your hand in our finances. We see you, God, in this church, oh God. We thank you that Sunday in, Sunday out, you keep the church doors of this church church open, oh God, and we just want to acknowledge you, oh God. We give you honor, glory, and adoration, oh Father. We thank you, Father, again for the privilege and honor this morning to be at your feet and bask at your feet, oh Father. We give you honor, glory, and adorations in the mighty name of Jesus. My God, we just want to welcome you in this place this morning, oh God. We are praying that you be the one that have your way in this place, oh God. Do what only you can do in every life this morning, Mudimwaka. Meet each each and every one of us at the point of our needs, oh Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in this place this morning as a helper. Holy Spirit, we help welcome you in this morning, in this place as a supernatural enabler. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, Mudimwaka, that you will meet us at the point of our needs, oh God. Let your word this morning transform our lives. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Thank you, Jesus. Um, the word of God in the book of Job 22 verse 20 says, says we will decree a thing and it will be established. And so shall it be in Jesus name. Say after me, we declare that South Africa, South Africa. is a blessed nation. Blessed nation. An apple of God's eye. We declare that God-fearing, God righteous, righteous leaders, full of God's wisdom, of God's wisdom are, in are in authority, and our country is advancing. Country is in, the in the name of Jesus. We declare that in the year of quantum leap, of quantum leap a great prayer revival is sweeping prayer over South Africa. Resulting in an epidemic, in an epidemic. Spiritual, awakening. spiritual awakening. In Jesus' name, Jesus. we are now going to declare for our church. Can you please say after me, we declare that, we declare that. God's, purpose God's purpose and vision for this church is accomplished with divine speed. Divine speed. Lives, are Lives are transformed. Communities are impacted. And God's vision, and God's vision for, this church for this church is established, is established on, earth. on earth. We declare that HOD, declare that HOD is, a is a church of champions, a house of prayer, house of prayer and a mountain of God's presence. Of God's presence. We, walk we walk in radical faith, reverential fear, reverential fear and radical obedience. Radical obedience to God's will. We declare that in the year of quantum leap, trailblazing champions are emerging with divine wisdom to provide God-inspiring solutions. We declare that in 2023, HOD is experiencing new dimensions of God's power an explosive church growth, growth. net-breaking harvest, harvest of souls, 
miraculous healings and divine deliverances. In Jesus' name, we declare that God is doing a new thing. Now it springs up. God is making a way for us in the wilderness and streams in the desert. Can you say after me, hallelujah? We thank you, Lord, that by faith, our state of the art worship center is miraculously secured. In the name of Jesus, we are now moving to declarations for our pastors and leaders. Say after me, we declare that the spirit of the Lord is upon our pastors and leaders. They are vessels of honor, sanctified and ordained for God's work. We declare that they walk in the apostolic anointing of signs and wonders. We declare that in 2023, they are quantum leaping and increasing an all-round divine preservation, peace and faithfulness is in their families. In Jesus' name. For House of Destiny members, say after me, we have a kingdom first mentality and serve God with humility, diligence and excellence. We declare that in the year of quantum leap, host God's presence and supernatural restoration and advancement is our portion we are leaping out of shame and humiliation to multifold restoration of God's glory and honor in Jesus name we are faithful cheerful givers Hence, wealth and riches are in our household. People shall marvel at the splendor of God's power with tangible evidence in our lives. We declare that throughout 2023, we shall experience a divine order of unlimited breakthroughs overwhelming and sudden turnarounds, extraordinary abundance, and overflow in all areas of our lives. In 2023, we declare that our children are a chosen generation. They are a royal priesthood, God's own special people to proclaim his praises. We declare that, like Daniel, they are firmly established in Christ and obedient to God's word. They are a crown of glory and a royal diadem in the hands of the Lord. They are distinguished and influential leaders amongst their peers, increasing in wisdom and stature. They are destined for great exploits, and excellence is their portion. Finally, we are doing personal declaration. Say after me with conviction, in the, in the year of the quantum leap, I decree and declare that that I am a friend of God. I am an addicted lover and doer of his word. His word has final authority in my life. I am a devout intercessor, an extraordinary worshiper, 
and a generous tither. Therefore, I experience inexplicable success. I declare that I am filled with the Holy Spirit and my inner man is continually strengthened. In Jesus' name, I prophesy blessings. I prophesy expansion. I prophesy prosperity. I prophesy success. And I prophesy fruitfulness in all my endeavors. In 2023, I declare a dramatic leap from lack to abundance. A dramatic leap from failure to success. I am blessed going in. I am blessed going out. I decree and I declare that policies, rules, and regulations are suspended and protocols broken to accelerate me to my supernatural experience. In Jesus' name, I decree and I declare that I meditate, I believe, and confess and practice the word of God. I have the seal for the kingdom. I am the righteousness of God. I am God's elect. I am God's masterpiece. His workmanship of grace and love. I am blessed and highly favored. Quantum leap order of experiences. Are my portion. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Continue giving God a big round of applause this morning. Come on, somebody can do much better than that. Give God a big round of applause. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. It's a malam, 
you, Jesus. We give you all the glory, Lord. There's none like you, mighty Savior. Our trust is in you at all times, mighty Jesus. Thank you, Lord. All right, let's, let's do it slow. What's up?
is our only hope. Yeah. Our hope of glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. So I need us to get crazy in his presence this morning. I am really sorry. You guys look beautiful this morning, by the way. So when all things are against you, when you're pressed against the wall and you feel like there's no more hope and there's nothing else you can do, if your confidence is in him and you know that he will come through for you, he will fight your battles. He's already given you the victory. How many know that the victory is yours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many know and believe that you have the victory yeah. on your side? I need people to help me encourage you that God is our victor.
Welcome to House of Destiny Family Church Sunday Celebration Service. Please join us for our Sunday Celebration Services. Our first in-person service starts at 8 a.m. and our second in-person service starts at 10.30 a.m. The service is also streamed live on our YouTube channel at 8 a.m. only. Our children's ministry also runs at the same time. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, House of Destiny Family Church, and remember to also follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You're encouraged to attend Destiny Connect groups, popularly known as Home Cells, every Wednesday from 6.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. online. Connect groups happen virtually three times a month and on the first Friday of every month. We meet at church during prayer and fasting week. To join one of the Destiny Connect groups, kindly contact the church office. Our monthly prayer and fasting start on the first week of the month. More details to be sent by the church office. Please join our Power Hour prayer sessions every Saturday morning from 6.30 to 7.30 a.m. All our online meeting details are sent on the day of the meeting. To stay up to date with the church happenings or to purchase from the resource center, please remember to download or visit the church app. Our WhatsApp broadcast messaging is strictly for sending one-way broadcast messages from the church to you. This WhatsApp number must be saved in your contacts for you to be able to continue receiving these church messages. If you're not receiving church communication, please send updated contact details to the church office, admin at houseofdestiny.co.za or WhatsApp 082-594-9988. If you'd like to communicate with the church or to report any of your life events, including weddings, counseling, and bereavements, please send an email to the church office, admin at houseofdestiny.co.za or send a WhatsApp 082 594-9988. The church has made available a confidential spiritual support line on 060-501-7046, mostly for counseling. Please note that you can request to be called back on the line and it is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. To continue advancing the kingdom of God, you are encouraged to continue giving your tithes and offering via SnapScan or through direct deposit as per details on the screen. Thank you for joining us today. We trust that you will have a great time fellowshipping with us. House of Destiny Family Church, taking you to the next level. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I greet you, Bazalan, in the name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I um, firstly to greet uh, the apostle of the house, Pastor Musam Tlong, uh, the leadership, the rest of the pastors, and all of you, Bazalan. It is nice to be here. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, being here, Bazalan, we have a divine appointment with God and we need not take that for granted. And amongst us, I believe Uguti Gunaban Zalwane who are here with us for the very first time and would like to give you a special House of Destiny Family Church to welcome. So if you're here for the very first time, we'd like you to wave your hand where you are so we can recognize you. Hallelujah, amen, amen, amen. Thank you. Any other visitor? Any other visitor amongst us? Amen. Uh, our ushers have given you a response card. Please, if you can complete that response card. It is not a membership uh, or, or joining form. It is just a form for us to have your details so that you, when we have special services, we can uh, inform you and keep in touch with you. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe there are also people who are joining us uh, online. You are also welcome. Please, um, even though we don't see you, we are with you in spirit. Please join in with us, enjoy the service, and receive the word of God. And God has something great in store for you this morning. Amen. 
Okay, I'll move straight Bazalwane to our announcements uh, for the morning. Uh, I have three announcements that I will read. Uh, the first one is about our Destiny Worship uh, auditions, which are taking place next Sunday. Please, those who would like to, uh, to join our Destiny Worship, if you can uh, join them uh, for the auditions next Sunday. Amen. Uh, the second announcement I have is on intercession ministry. The intercession ministry uh, is an invited all of you, Bazalone, to join us this coming Saturday at the Inanda Club um, for a connect session at a cost of 250 rand per person. Our senior pastor will be there to share and unpack his vision for the ministry. And our own pastor, Nontlantla, will also be sharing a map for 2023. And I must emphasize it is open for everyone within the church, Bazarani. Please uh, come in your numbers. And then the last announcement from my side is on the Easter services. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah, Bazalwane. We are exactly two weeks before our wonderful 2023 Easter service, um, and we are quantum leaping to it. Before you know it, we'll be there. We'll be having services Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The Friday and Sunday services are exactly the same times as our normal services. There is 8 o'clock, first service, and half past 10, uh, our, our second service for both Friday and Sunday. And then Saturday, Bazaran, we have one service that will be starting at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And one last thing to announce on the Sunday service, we will be doing our collection for our state-of-the-art worship center. Please uh, come prepared with your offering and let us build that state-of-the-art worship center. Hallelujah. Uh, thank you very much. And then, uh, Bazalan, I would like to also share a short message of encouragement this morning. And my message of encouragement, I will start reading the word of God related to that. Uh, I'll, I'll read from the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 17. I'll choose a few verses there and then also chapter 20, a few verses. I'll start reading from Second Chronicles, chapter 17, verse 3 reads as follows, now the Lord was with Jehoshaphat because he walked in the former ways of his father David. He did not seek the Baals. And then if we can go to verse 5, it says, so the Lord established the kingdom in his hand. Then all Judah brought him tribute and he had riches and honor in abundance. Then chapter 20 verse 1 says, uh, after this, the Moabites and the Ammonites, together with some of the Munites, came to fight against Jehoshaphat. Verse 17 of chapter 20 says, uh, you do not have to fight this battle. Position yourselves Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. He is with you, Judah and Jerusalem. Do not be afraid or discouraged. Tomorrow, go out to face them, for the Lord is with you. And then lastly, verse 20 says, In the morning, they got up early and went out to the wilderness of Tekoya. As they were about to go out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and you'll be established. Believe in his prophets, and you will succeed. I've entitled my, minute, my message, Bazarana, this morning to, as it is about Jesus and not you. Uh, if you look at this story, in short, we have Jehoshaphat who had become king of Judah uh, 
and the, the first verse we read is that he, he walked in the former ways of David. And we all, we know, we all know about King David, how he walked right in, in, in the eyes of God. And then because of that, he established in himself a God, God established the, king, the kingdom in his hand. So, what I'm here to say, Bazalwane, to you is that it is important as Abazalwane to work, to work well in front of God, to live as Umzalwane, to know what the word of God says about yourself and do what the word of God says. This morning, I'm here to encourage somebody who says, in this year of the quantum leap, I've been getting attacks from many sides. Could be sickness, could be attacks at work, in your business, in your family, any form of, of attack, and you feel like giving up. You feel like saying this quantum leap thing is for other people, not for me. What I'm here to say to you, Bazaran, is that just understand that the fact that you have established yourself in God does not mean you will not get attacks. If you, if you refer to the story of Jehoshaphat again, after we've been told that he had riches in abundance and he established, established himself in God, he got attacked by three nations in Ohio. Just one tribe of Judah being attacked by three nations. He had all the reasons to say, I give up on this. I'll just raise my hands to these people and say, I surrender to you. But he chose to inquire of God. He chose to believe God under those difficult circumstances. I'm here to encourage you that regardless of what it is that you are going through, just remember that the whole life, by the way, is about Jesus. It's not about you. The devil is attacking the very word that you have received and he wants to destroy it. This, among other battles that the tribe of Judah and Israel uh, had to go through, was to prevent Jesus from coming to the world and die for us. And it is the same devil that has the plan to crush the word of God that you have received. God wants to show himself through you. And the devil knows that. The devil knows that you are children of God and that God loves us. God wants to make a, a spectacle using us. God wants to manifest himself through you. That is why you have the word of the quantum leap and you will quantum leap. And the devil is working against that. It's not about you. The devil is, attack is attacking the Jesus in you. When things hit you from all sides, just remember that and surrender ourselves to God. There are battles that you will not have to fight and God will fight them to, for you. But it will take you to trust God. It will take you to, to believe the word of God and confess it upon your life irrespective of the circumstances that you, that you go through. And by the way, according to John chapter 1 verse 3, Everything that was created was created for and by Jesus. The very you that is sitting here, the family that you have, God put that family together so that Jesus may be glorified. I'm here to say Jesus will be glorified through you. Don't worry about circumstances. Jesus will be glorified in you. Just put your trust in God. God will direct you. God will make, will make sure that you quantum leap. God made sure that Jesus came to this world in the midst of all opposition that was there. And God will make sure that he is manifested through you in the name of Jesus. Shall we close our eyes and, and praise God. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you. We thank you that you are God from everlasting to everlasting. We thank you for having given us your word, and we, indeed your word is alive. Your word is sharper than a double-edged sword. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit that is on the inside of us. When you give you praise, we give you glory, 
and honor in Jesus' name. Amen.
two hands to heaven for a second and just begin to say what is in your heart to God appreciate him, love him acknowledge him tell him how much you love him how much you appreciate him can we just have a time of an encounter in ministry before God in your own language your own voice Tell him how much we appreciate and glorify him. Father, we thank you. HOD, let's raise our voices. Let's raise our voices to the King of Kings. Father, we thank you. Father, we praise you. We glorify and magnify your name. We glorify your name, Heavenly God. Let's just love him this morning. Let's glorify his name this morning. Let's exalt his name this morning. And let's tell him that there is no one like him. There's no one that can be compared to him. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Father, we glorify your name. Father, we magnify your name. In the name above every other name the name of Jesus be exalted and lifted up high be magnified heavenly God let's raise our voices and thank him appreciate him glorify him magnify his name say he is worthy say he is holy say he is glorified he is the same yesterday and tomorrow he is the same today he is the same in the future He's from everlasting to everlasting. He's worthy of our praise. He's worthy of our honor. He's worthy of our glory. Jesus is his name. Father, we thank you. Father, we magnify your name. Glorify your name, heavenly God. We thank you, Jesus. We exalt your name, my Jesus. Magnify your name, my God. Holy, holy.
you, Jesus. Glory, glory, worthy, mighty. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, mighty God. In the name above every other name. God a hand of praise. Can we give the King of Kings? Can we give the Lord of Lords, the great I am, the one who is and the one who is to come? Praise, glory, and honor. HOD, not the pastor, not anyone, but the King of Kings. Jesus is his name. Jesus is his name. And we shout to the top of our voices. And magnify the Lord of Lords. And magnify the great I am. The one who's from eternity to eternity. Jesus is his name. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Glory! Oh, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. It is all about you, Heavenly God. It is all about you, Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Just before we sit down, I think we get familiar on the relationship we have with Nkunungul. And we take things for granted. And think that God is just God and he's just the guy around the corner. He's there. But I'd like us with the sincerity of our hearts and the honor and the worthy and the glory that he deserves. It's not just a song, but it is a declaration that says we have seen everyone, but even this morning we say there is no one like him. We've been exposed to a lot of people, but we decree, declare that there is no one like him. But just before we sit down, I'd like us to put our hands together, shout with a shout of victory that says indeed there is no one like him. And if you can do that, if you you can do that because indeed there is no one like our God. Hallelujah. Let's give him praise, glory, and honor, HOG. And say there is no one like him. There is no one like him. He forgives us. He loves us. He, he, he saves us. He provides for us. Oh, we thank you, Lord, for there is no one like you. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. You can take your seats in the name of Jesus. There's no one like him. Agecho fananai. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Oh, we thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. Hallelujah.
No one like him. No one like him. He's the difference maker. I say Jesus is a difference maker. When he comes in into a space, he makes a difference. When he comes into our lives, I can tell you, we're different not because of our education. We're different because Jesus lives on the inside of us. Not because we're better talented than anyone else, but just because the difference maker. There's a different passenger. There's different authority and life in our lives that makes all the difference. And I'd like us not to ever take that for granted. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I am in Boni, I am Oh, thank you, Jesus. So this is the last week of the first quarter of 2023. The first quarter of quantum leap in the name of Jesus. Please say after me, 2023 is my year of the quantum leap. 2023 is my year of the quantum leap. So we thank God for testimonies in the first quarter. So it's six days before we start the second quarter of 2023, but we thank God for what he has done for HOG, what he has done for individuals. God confirming his word, changing statuses, changing levels, and I decree and declare that your testimony is next in the name of Jesus. I thought I was talking to Bible-believing believers. I say your testimony is next in the name of Jesus. I say your testimony is next in the name of Jesus. Who says my testimony to quantum leap is next in the name of Jesus. I tell you my testimony to quantum leap is next in the name of Jesus. Changing level, significant, abrupt, dramatic shift, significant and supernatural shift in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Am I the only one excited this morning? Am I the only one excited this morning? I say, am I the only one excited this morning? Father, in the name of Jesus, I release freedom. I release grace and excitement over these, your precious children. You are free in the name of Jesus. Please say after me, I am free in the name of Jesus. Please say, I am free in the name of Jesus. Say, I am free in the name of Jesus. Say, I am free in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 5, verse 1. Luke chapter 5, verse 1. Luke chapter 5, verse 1. There's a lot to cover this morning. We greet you and those that are in, online, we greet you and welcome to church in Jesus' name. So it was as the multitude pressed about him to hear the word of God that he stood by the lake of Gennesaret. Verse 2. 
And he saw two boats standing by the lake, but the fishermen had gone from them and they were washing their nets. And then he got into one of the boats, which was Simon's. Important it is Simon, it's not referred to as Peter. It is Simon's and asked him to put out a little from the land. It's very important. The first instruction is to put out a little from the land. Oftentimes we focus on launch into the deep, but before you launch into the deep, you put a little from the land. Hold someone right there, little by little. God will always ask you to do things that you can do before he asks you things that will, be, will take you out of your comfort zone. So he says to Peter, put out a little from the land. And the second instruction was launch into the deep. But he did not start with launch to the deep. He said, put a little, put out a little. And he sat down and taught the multitude from the boat. When he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon, so Jesus is done with the teaching. Now he focuses to the owner of the boat. Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. Before you go to verse 5, actually interesting, when you read behind the story, he speaks to Peter, he says, launch, he speaks to Peter, he says, launch out into the deep and let your nets and let down your nets for a catch. Let down your nets for a catch. He said to Peter, launch out into the deep and let down, uh, let down your nets for a catch. Okay, we'll comment as we go, uh, go, go along. Verse 5, he says, but Simon answered and said to him, Master, very important, other verses says, Lord, which just signifies that he distinguishes himself in this conversation that as though we're having this conversation, but you are the master and I am the servant. We have toiled all night and caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net before you go to verse 6. Actually, when you read here, you can read Jesus says to Simon and Simon answers and says, as much as we are talking, the two of us, but there's many of us here who have been working previously. He does not say, I have toiled all night. He says, we have toiled all night. So Jesus is in a conversation, although he's speaking to Peter, but he's speaking to a lot of people in the boat. But Peter says, as much as there are a lot of people, there are others here on the boat or in the boat speaking together with, with, with you, I will let down the net. I don't know about the others, but I will let down the net. We have worked all night, but I will let down the net. We have worked all night, but the letting down of the net is my personal commitment to the work that you have said. Meaning everyone had the opportunity to let down the net. But Peter says, it is the act of my personal will to let down the net. We have worked, but I will let down the net. Verse 6. And when they had, and when they had done this, they caught a great number of fish, and their net was breaking. So they signaled to their other partners in the other boats to come and help them. Again, it just shows when they signaled to come and help, it means it was not just Peter and Jesus on the boat, but it was Peter, Jesus, and the others who were at work on the boat. But the one who let down the net was not just, was only Peter, meaning everyone had the opportunity to let down the net. That is why you can hear the word of quantum leap, but the word of quantum leap responds to the one who receives it, who believes it, and acts on it, not on the one who hears it. And they came and filled both the boats so, they could, so that they began to sink. Verse 8, we'll finish at verse 11. I'm sure there's verse 8 in chapter 5. When Simon Peter saw it, it's interesting now that it's not only Simon, but it's Simon Peter. So as you read through, 
he ends up being Peter. He fell down at Jesus' feet, saying, depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he and all who were with him were astonished at the catch of the fish which they had taken. And so also were James and John, the son of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. Now we are told who was on the boat with Peter. And Jesus said to Simon, do not be afraid. From now on you will catch men. And verse 11, so when they had brought their boats to the land, they forsook all and followed Jesus. So who is Simon? Simon is a leader of an ordinary man that was 10 extraordinary because he had an encounter with Jesus. That's why I was saying there's something different about having an encounter with Jesus. Jesus is the difference in our lives with Allah. He's the difference. It's not your education. I can tell you there are people who are more educated than you. Maybe you think you are the best thing that has ever happened in as far as education is concerned. There are people who are better educated than you. And the difference between you and anyone else is who Basalwane is Jesus. Peter was as human like us. He had faults, failure that were so epic in proportion. Jesus was Peter. He had strengths and he had weaknesses and he was a man with f- full of ambition. In his life, he experienced victories and he experienced defeat. Some of his defeat were public, some of his defeat were private, but he walked with God. We know that he denied Christ. Jesus says, one of you, you, one of you will, will, will betray me and all of you will actually fall by the wayside. Uh, in the next coming hours, and Peter says, no, 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 you are my ride and die. Now, you know, I, I know Judas and everyone else, they may forsake you, but me, not Jesus, nizu hamba nawe. But when the time was rough, because there are rough times in our lives, there are just times where it's just rough. Jesus says, I don't know this guy. They say, no, we're not. <laughs> you were with him. He says, no, I don't know him. They say, even your language, your accent, your tone. Have you ever heard You don't have to, they don't have to tell you that they are from Deben. Am I correct, Basalan? Angit, eh? Angit Like 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 you like 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 you, you, you don't have to you don't have to try and find out to uh, like my my age in hey we ask good haika. You sing any in Kabi a kameni lachis. So the young girl says, even the way you speak, he says no. And and Upida Ukaluz we have a two and he kisses people. I don't know this man. I don't know this man. He has highs and lows. Jesus asks a question and the only one who has a revelation, an answer from heaven. God, Jesus says, flesh and blood did not reveal this to you. Except my father in heaven. Because one of the things that we always have to be comfortable with in our lives, Basalan, as long as it's Sapef Mulalishi Tulo, in our lives, Basalan, there will be highs and lows. Angit Basalan, as long as it's Sapila, in our lives there will be highs and lows. In your life, you have to be comfortable with the fact that there are times where life will be high and where life will be low. There will be times where things are easy and when things are hard. No wonder why Paul says, Ut, I have learned to be content. Would I have learned to be content. Ut, whether I am a base or whether I am abounding. Because I know that at times in life, there are times where I'm at a mountain top and there are times where I'm going through the valley, but I You see, that is a relationship now, not a relationship of convenience. You have to get to a point where whatever God gives you, gives you, and whatever God does not give you, does not change the fact that he is God. 
I am not going to serve you on the basis of what you give me. I'm going to serve you on the basis that you are God. What you give me, you give me. What you don't give me, you are God. Where you take me, I will go. Where you don't take me, I will not go. But it will not change that you are God. It's not a relationship of convenience. Not a relationship of convenience. He is God all by himself. Professional fisherman, a brother, a husband. We know that Peter was a husband because Jesus healed his mother-in-law of flu. Other people say, no wonder Peter had an issue with Jesus. No, no, no. Jesus healed, uh, Jesus healed uh, mother, uh, Peter's mother-in-law of flu. That's what the Bible says. And then Peter says, Yay. Jesus fige guseni. Sebeti bakreti lenga mepsugu. Upamandla masha. Jesus fige guseni. Sebeti bakreti lenga mepsugu. I'm I understand the frustration of Peter. <laughs> what is happening here, Bazalan? A couple of things. So Jesus, the Bible says, he is alongside a mountain called Genazare. Thank you very much. The topic for today, it can only be God. <laughs> hey, you Peter and the rest. It can only be God. It can only be God. It can only be God. The Bible speaks of the fact that Jesus is at the lake called Genazareth. Actually, this is a lake called Galil. But given the point where this activity or this encounter happens is in the village of Genazareth. That is why it's called the lake Genazareth. So Jesus, firstly we are told that Jesus is followed by crowds. And he's followed by crowds because his ministry is successful. So when you see crowds, you see too many people, you see success, and as a result of success, Jesus now can't speak to the crowd while he's closer to the crowd. So we see Jesus and success. We see Jesus being followed by the crowd. However, in his success, Jesus has a problem. I mean, life has contradictions, Bazalan. Jesus is experiencing success, he's experiencing crowd, but he's now having a problem and an issue of space and platform. Because too much success introduces certain pains. When we speak about quantum leap, we speak about quantum leap, but quantum leap will introduce you to another level of uh, problems and pains and issues and challenges. So just be, just, it, it is part of life, it is part of leadership. When you were a supervisor, now you are a manager, now you are an executive, now you are a CEO, that comes with its own challenges. So just get, learn to live with challenges. Maybe just as a side point, our growth and your growth is always limited to your pain threshold. You will grow only to the level of the pain you can handle. Men, all of us, all of us, in our leadership capacity, in any area of our lives, our growth will always be limited to the level of our pain threshold. God will not give you stuff beyond the pain threshold you can handle. So, two things that are important there. So, life in a pain is not an issue, but it is the bandwidth of your pain threshold that will determine the level of your leadership. Mm -hmm. 
So if you're speaking about growth and speaking about more and speaking about quantum leap, the reality of the matter is newer and higher levels have come with their own different growth pains. So Jesus now is having a lot of people, but he has a space and a platform problem. In Vanagatiko, in Anbazalani, a problem. Ngayani, yama crowds, I'm landelai. But at the same time, we find Peter at the same place where there is overflow, where there is abundance. But Peter's problem is a problem of emptiness. Jesus has a problem of overflow. He has a problem of abundance. He has a problem, he has a problem of more. But Peter has a problem of an empty boat. Peter is trying to cope with the failed mission. But Jesus is trying to deal with the success of the crowd that is following him. But what is more interesting here is that Jesus uses the instruments of Peter's failure to execute successfully of his mission. Let me help you here, Basalan. There's pain. Pain is part of our lives. Number two, success is not the opposite of failure. Success of failure is not the opposite of success. Failure is part of success. You have failed at something. You will fail at something. And the reality of the matter is look at failure as an opportunity to grow and learn. So Jesus is taking the instruments that were used in the mission that failed and he uses the same instrument in a mission that is successful. That is the difference maker we're speaking about. Jesus is able to take the broken pieces of our lives. Areas that we've decreed, declared as failures. Areas that, do, 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 areas that don't look like they are a success. Areas that don't look like they will grow and get up to something. But when we give them to Jesus, he is able to use the very same instruments, the very same platforms to make sure that his mission is accomplished. The question is, under whose authority is your life? Under whose authority are your resources? Under whose authority is everything about your life? Because whatever and whoever has authority in your life is responsible for your defense. Whatever and whoever is, is, has authority in our lives has a responsibility to defend us. So he takes the broken pieces of Peter's mission and he successfully carry out his mission. So in here... In the story, we see Jesus turning the empty boat into a platform of success. Turning the empty boat into a platform of success. Can I speak this over your life, child of God? That the empty womb shall be filled with nations in the name of Jesus. That empty business in the name of Jesus will overflow with success that has never been experienced before. That empty career will be filled with endless opportunities. That empty home will be a place of peace, joy, health, and prosperity. Because when you give it to Jesus at the state of failure, at the state of, 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 of miscarriage, at the state of everything that had gone wrong, when you give the broken pieces of your life, whatever you give it to Jesus, it may look like failure, but he is able to turn it around. He is able to turn it around. Someone may say, it looks like I have failed in parenting. Give it to Jesus. Someone may say, it looks like I may have failed in my academic endeavors. Give it to Jesus. You know the thing about Jesus, he is not scared of the broken pieces of our lives. He is not scared of the failed areas of our lives. He is not scared of things that have not gone right in our lives. When you give him the broken pieces, you give him your hurts, you give him your disappointments, you give him your anger, you give him everything. Give it all to him because he is able to change the platforms of failure into platforms of success. He is a difference maker. Give him no, your failed business venture. He will turn it around. 
He will turn it around. Moshianda Rabakola Zai. Father, we give you our, the broken pieces of our lives. The broken pieces of our finances. The broken pieces, Heavenly Father, of, of, of our parenting. Broken pieces of everything that we try and do, Heavenly Father, we give them to you because you are the difference maker. You are the one who's able to use even the broken pieces of our lives. Disappointments, hurt, pain, Heavenly God, we give them to you, Heavenly Father. I pray that you heal us from the top, from the top of our heads to the soles of our feet. We give you everything, Heavenly God. We give it all to you, Heavenly Father, because you are a difference maker. So Peter uses his boat for Jesus' ministry. He uses his boat for Jesus' ministry. We spoke about this before, that every time God poses as the one who has a need to meet your need. He poses as the one who has a need so that he can meet your need. Peter was toiling all night. He had nothing to catch. Then Jesus says, I've got a need. But actually, it is a setup for meeting Peter's need. Let me tell you, child of God, wherever you are and whatever you're going through, it's a setup. And God is able to use the good, the bad, and the ugly. Wherever you may find yourself, he is God who is able to turn the broken pieces of your life. He is able to turn the hurt, the pain, and the disappointment in your life. It is a set-up child of God. Stick with God. Go with God. Because the God that you serve is saying, I am able to use the good, the bad, and the ugly as a platform of success. As a platform of success. As a platform of success. So he uses Peter's boat for his ministry. That's why we give him our time, our talent, and our treasures. When we serve God, we don't serve God because we've got time. We just give him what we can have, what we have. And remember, as I told you, God never asks for what he does not, what he has not already given you. He knows you are busy. And he's just asking for an hour of your time. He knows you are busy. He's just asking for uh, the resources that he has given to you. God knows everything about us, Bazalwane. And we use our time and our treasures to say, Father, Signigela Gwe. Because when we give it to him, when we give it to him, when we give it to him, he is able to turn things around. Give him everything. Everything about you. Give it to him. And you don't have to try and clean it up. Give it to him as it is. Peter, I know that you used this boat and you failed. Can you go, go take it for repairs and take it for, maybe you did not catch because it was not in the right state. Jesus says, I will use it as it is. Would you give it to me right now as it is? Because I am able to use what you give me. Unkunukuru na manja mtana sekaya. Yogutu mnige se yonki into. No matter how it looks, give it to him. And he is not shy to do something worth it in the name of Jesus. If you believe that, shout amen. If you believe that, shout amen. Let's rush. Then Jesus turns into Peter. Peter had failed. Peter had failed. Peter had failed. Tired and disappointed. Remember, Peter, fishing was not a sport for Peter. He was not fishing for hobby. It was not like a hobby. 
So this was important. I it's just a hobby. So, so oh, Peter, fishing was not a hobby for Peter. Meaning, no fish, no bread on the table. Have you ever missed an opportunity that's not just, it's not like, ah, oh, no, I can look for another one. No, no, no. Some things are not just a hobby. So, oh, Peter did not lose out on a shift because it was just, you know, people like, oh, no, we have a weekend of fly fishing. clever blacks. You know when clever blacks, when God has blessed you, people go out. No, we just went out to do what? To uh, fly fishing. Where is fly fishing? Fly fishing emlas. What fly fish from emlas? In the table this morning. That's when you know, it's when you know what you get. I would talk about no, we just went out with friends, uh, fly fish. Oh my God! Yeah, then you know what I cry. Success has showed up. Nah, or oh, river rafting. Hey, Basalan. That's when you know what I. No, no, no. I take a figgy leg, leg, much. Go for a call, crash course Friday before travel because you go fly fishing. Mama Jonah, fly fishing from Newcastle. So it was not a hobby for Peter. So this was a serious failure for him. It was a serious failure for him. But he encountered Jesus, Basalan. And when he encountered Jesus, Jesus, interestingly, he comes in and gives the second instruction. Remember the first instruction, launch a little deep, a, a little out of the land. But then now Jesus says, launch into the deep, put your net into the deep. I told you, Jesus is not saying, hey, Peter, you now, hey, man, really zolo. Zolo kahle, Peter. Hey, man, hey, unjali, mpili, unjali, Peter. It says, <laughs> launch into the deep. No, no, no. He's not, it's, it's, it's not like G P P Jesus is belittling what Peter's, fa Peter's failure, but Jesus is saying, that has happened. Now we go forward. You know, Pastor there are times where we have to say, this has happened. Now we do what? Forward we go. This has happened. Forward we go. People have left me. Forward I go. I have failed. Forward I go. Things have not worked out. Forward I go. I am not going to sit and stay on the fact that people did not promote me, but I do what Basalwane. Forward I go. Things have happened, but forward I go. Jesus says, Peter, launch into the deep. Oh, my Pakashi and Alabajea. Because there's always something. Maybe let me get there already. There's something which is why I show you, Lagu Peter. Jesus is saying there are three things that are involved here. He says, Peter, there's a deep. Then Peter says, you already have the boat. And you already have the net. There's what we call in life the law of location. Please say after me, law of location. Child of God, everything in our lives happens in a place. Everything in our lives happens where Basalwane in a place. So, so Jesus, of course, when we read this, we are only hearing words, but we are not seeing the actions or the verbs that Uchesu or the actions Uchesu I I I don't imagine Uchesu mighty launch into the deep. He probably was folding his hands. When he says launch into the deep. Actually, when you read this in John chapter 21, when he speaks about launching to the right side of the boat, he's showing him the deep. No, no, no. So what Jesus is saying, Barcelona, he says there's a place for your catch. He says, I know you have worked all night, but there is a place for your catch. Because that is what the law of location have you ever heard people in business say location, location, location? It's all about what, Basalwane? Location, location, location. So as a matter of fact, even God himself, he had a place before the person. 
I mean, God himself, he had a place before the person. He created the environment. He created the place before he brought the person. In Genesis chapter 12, we are also told about location. He says to a man called Abram, get out of your country, get out of your father's house, get out of the place of familia and go to a place I will show you. He says, in that place, I will make your name great. In that place, you will be blessed because there's a place before a person. Place before a person. The man, the Bible says in Acts chapter 3, that he went and sat at the gate called Beautiful. His success, his healing, his advancement was located or was destined or was, 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 was what Basalane was, was placed into a certain location. Let me tell you, there's a place of your abundance. There's a place of your success. There's a place of your increase. There's a place of your blessing. There's a place that is as your harvest. There's a place of your success. John chapter 15 verse 4. If I'm if ni salagim na mazwe ami esalagind ni zotela no mangabe yin that that speaks about the place. Ugut kukon in dawok fanele ubek yona. Mauk len dawo when you if if u salagim na mazwe ami esalagwe. So it is re referencing location. Ugutige it matters ugutu tela ugif in dawo. It matters what is the location of your request. Law of location. Law of location. Law of location. Can we read Jeremiah 18? Law, verse 1 and 2. Law of location. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Or the word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, listen to verse 2. Arise and go to the potter's house. And there, oh, mama, mama, I will cause you to hear my words. But you have to arise and go to a place. Can I release and speak a blessing that you are locating your right location? You are locating your right location for your harvest. The right place for your abundance. The right place for your blessing. The right place for your increase. The right place for your advancement. The right place for the right place in your career, the right place to do business, the right place for your harvest in the name of Jesus. Everything happens in a place. So now the owner of the boat and the owner of the actual place, uh, he owns the waters and he owns the fish in the waters. So Mayati launched into the deep for a catch. He's not playing Fanda Finder or Second Guess because he's the owner Yak Lendau. Mayati get put and you will catch. It's like, no, 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 I run this place. I own this place. When I say you will catch because I am the owner of the water, I am the owner of the fish. It is the same place the same boat, the same net, but the difference is now in this boat, net and this place, there's a new passenger and that passenger is Jesus. There's a new passenger and his name is Jesus. Okay, just a second before we wrap this thing. You know, as a leader, when you lead in the U.S., there is a dominant disposition you need to have for you to lead successfully in the global north. In the global north, one of the things that help leaders to lead successfully 
is your ability to sell practically anything. You have to have that ability to sell anything. In Europe, for you to be an exceptional leader, you must be a leader who's obsessed with quality. Because your product speaks volumes. You don't have to sell things. Take Germany, for example. They focus on quality. In Asia, Asian countries, their predominant focus, as much as there's quality, but their predominant focus is its volume and continuous improvement. Zoibuga lento. You'll design it, Zoibuga. We copy it, we continue to improve it until you write. Have you ever been into places where you come in and sell? They say, what do you want? Do you want genuine? Or do you want fake, fake? Or do you want fake? Never salah. So they focus a lot on what? On uh, volumes as well as continuous improvement. For you in the continent of Africa to be one of the influential leaders, Africa is deep-seated on relationships. It's relationships. Sometimes, yeah, no matter how smart you are, if you don't have the relationship, things just don't move. You go to any corporate South Africa. People are very smart. But sometimes, man, bafunu was good, was nobody. So in the continent of Africa, the dominant leading disposition as a leader is making sure that you have right relationships. Do you know that sometimes, okay, we're not talking, actually we have a series on the law of location. I mean, just going there now. Do you know that sometimes it's not bad people who are bad in our lives. It's the right people in the wrong location in our lives. That makes them equally bad. They are the right people, but they are occupying the place that the Holy Spirit should be occupying. Sometimes the right people who need to be far, we bring them close. And those that need to be close, we take them far. They are the right people, but they occupy the wrong location. The love location. So who in our lives has the place that should be occupied by the Holy Spirit? Who and what in our lives is occupying a space that should be occupied by the Holy Spirit? So when Jesus says, launch into the deep, he's telling him of a place where the fish are. He says, Peter, your place of abundance is here. Your place of provision is here. Your place of harvest is here. You do have transport. You do have the boat to the deep. You do have the nets to catch the fish. But what you need now is make sure that you launch into the right place. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we endeavor and do what we need to do, I pray that we may not miss our place of harvest in Jesus' name. May we not miss the deep that you have for our lives, Lord. May we not miss the deep that we have, that you have for our lives, mighty God. May we not miss the deep that you have for us in the name of Jesus. We give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor. In the name above every other name, the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Maybe let's end with this. Peter gives an answer. He says, we have toiled all night. That is a natural man giving an answer. He says, we've done what we needed to do. Then the word introduces to us on the word called nevertheless. Please say after me, nevertheless. Then faith starts to speak after nevertheless. Words of fear and words anyawonamazu or kolwa before nevertheless it says we've toiled all night so there is an acknowledgement you know what we have done what I needed to do but I have failed not only I limit things on the acknowledgement 
But now I want to align myself to the wind. Because he says, at your way. Remember, Peter at this time, Bazalwan, was more or less around the same age as Jesus. No wonder why when he says, master, he's like, you know what? I actually acknowledge the fact that you are a carpenter's son. I acknowledge the fact that we may be around the same age, but you are the master of the universe. You may not have the experience around fishing, but you are the master. At your weight, I will let down the net. At your weight, I will let down the net. At your weight, I will let down the net. He lets down the net. And when he lets down the net, he catches fish. There's a lot that happens there, Bazalan. There's a lot that happens there, but let's close. What happens here, there were different nets that were used for shallow fishing and deep fishing. There were different nets that were used during the day and nets that were used in the evening. And of course now, and of course it, the best time, not that you couldn't fish during the day, but the best time to fish was at night. So everything looks like it's wrong here. It's launching to the deep, daytime or in the morning, using the instruments that have failed, which are more like the night instrument, but they do get what? A catch. Net breaking, boat sinking, harvest. It's more like God says, I want to give you out of season blessings. Like, I want to give you an out-of-season blessing. I want to give you an out-of-season blessing. When everything that is not supposed to work, but because, because there's a new passenger on the boat. Because there's a new passenger on the boat. That is why it is one thing to allow Jesus into our hearts. It is yet another to allow him to direct our work to direct our careers, to direct our business, to direct our parenting, because he is a difference maker. And that is why it can only be God who is able to give us the out-of-season blessing. Net breaking, boat sinking, harvest. As we close this quarter, going to the next quarter, I pray that your endeavors in everything that you do, may you be blessed out of season in the name of Jesus. May you be blessed out of season in the name of Jesus. May you be blessed out of season in the name of Jesus. You know, Nkunukul Basalani has been placing this word that you will escape the inescapable. That you will escape the inescapable. About to bet I mostly want to get a but in the name of Jesus, I tell you, child of God, you will escape the inescapable. You will escape the inescapable. You will be blessed out of season. You'll be blessed out of season. Out of season, blessing in the name of Jesus. In our parenting, Lord God, out of season blessing in our careers heavenly God out of season blessing in our businesses Lord out of season blessing I pray with this cash way I want to be retrenched a many like a Jesus she promote way I want to be retrenched a many like a Jesus she tell him easy I'm a interest rate in you a many like a Jesus father God I release the grace and the anointing of out of season blessing out of season blessing out of season blessing increase heavenly God where everything is going down and everything is shrinking but around us in the name of Jesus and heavenly God we will care enough to say it can only be God it can only be God it can only be God. It can only be God. It can only be God who can change rules and regulations for your promotion. It can only be God who can open doors 
that the wealthy, the knowledgeable has closed. It can only be God that can cause you to increase where everyone is shutting down, where everyone is closing down. It can only be God who can open doors and give you the harvest at the wrong time, at the wrong season, with the failed instruments. It can only be God. It can only be God. It can only be God. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. In the name of Jesus. Can we take our seats, please? In the name of Jesus. I don't know who feels out of season. I don't know who feels I've done everything that I have done with our eyes closed. I just want to pray for certain individuals here, Mr. Lang. That say, I need prayer. I need an out of season blessing. What I'm believing God for, I go into me. Etige, some maybe I qualify for it, but I'm just trusting God for out of season blessing. Can you just raise your hand where you are, so that I can just pray for you and say I trust God. I'm trusting God for an out of season blessing. Moshi anda rabajere keti alabaje ti akanda rabaje. Libra gasati akende rebe sholi asati akende rebe Father God, in the name of Jesus, you know what is in the hearts of these, your precious children. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you do the supernatural. That Heavenly God, even if odds are against them, but in the name of Jesus, I pray that you change rules and regulations. I pray, Heavenly God, that you turn things around for them. That you use even the instruments of failure, broken pieces of their lives, and give them the out-of-season blessing. May they escape the inescapable. In the name above every other name. In the name of Jesus. Out of season blessing. Out of season blessing. Can we speak and command the next six days of the first quarter? To be, it can only be God days in the name of Jesus. I can tell you, child of God, it can only be God who can open a door for you. you. I know you've tried to open the door. I know you tried your connections to open the door. But it can only be God that can open that door. In the name of Jesus, the remaining six days of the first quarter of the year of the quantum leap, I call them, it can only be God days. Father God, I speak calls of favor. Calls that will say it can only be God. Turn around that will say it can only be God. Shift that will be declared, decreed, it can only be God. Significant moves, significant shifts that we will say it can only be God. In the next six days, I can tell you, child of God, no track record. Nothing explains them, but you will say it can only be God. The turnaround, the shifts that you will experience, it will be shift and turn around that you and I will say it can only be God. Jesus, <laughs> El apagate, el apagate, usuge el mandulo, Jesús, son sabí como un o fananaui, Jesús en la vuelta, 
but I need a difference maker in my life. I need Jesus. Someone saying, Pastor, please pray with me because I need to surrender the ownership of my life to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Someone may say, I have been walking with Jesus, but things have gone horribly wrong, but I want to rededicate my life to Him. Before we close the service, can you just raise your hand where you are and say, Pastor, please pray with me because I need to receive Jesus. Can you just raise it up high? Thank you very much, my sister. Thank you very much, my brother. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, my sister. Thank you very much. Abbas Alon, I'd like them to be excited about people saying yes to Jesus. Please, can you raise them up high and saying, I need a new passenger in my life. I need a new passenger in my life. Can I just ask you to do something even more bolder and stand where you are and come up front here and join me because we are saying yes to Jesus. He is a difference maker. He is a difference maker. As you raise your hand, please say, can you just come up front here? And then I will pray together with you. Oh! Hallelujah! Say, Jesus, come into my heart. Come into my life because you are a difference maker. You are a difference maker in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Can we be excited? Can we give God praise? Can we give God glory? He is a difference maker. Sing a show sisters, if you can just raise your two hands to heaven can we make this prayer Heavenly Father I surrender the ownership of my life to you I give you my life be the Lord and the Savior of my life I accept you and acknowledge that you died for my sins from this moment onwards I am saved my sins have been washed away and my name is written in the book of life I am born again I am a child of God in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus let's give God the hand of praise sing a show Hallelujah. 
Last request. Can I just ask two minutes of your time? And I know that your staff will be safe. Make sure that their staff is safe. If just two minutes of your time. And we'll tell you what we need to do going forward in the name of Jesus. Can we give God a hand of praise as they go and as we go to the site? In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Maybe there's someone here before we close to say I've been visiting here. But I've never made up my mind to make HOD my home. A place. Remember, we've spoken about the law of location. I can tell you, child of God, there is a, there's a blessing that is awaiting you in your right place. And maybe your right place could be this place. Where you say, I am making HOD my home because the place of my harvest, the place of my increase, the place of my advancement is here. And I don't want to miss that place. Is there someone who says... Pastor, I have made up my mind. Thank you very much. Young, young doctor, thank you very much. Hallelujah. Is there someone else? Can you just come up front here yeah? and say, I have found my place. I have found my place in the name of Jesus. This is my place of harvest. Abbas Allah and Kalabasha is under. See, we're excited. Hallelujah! Thank you very much. You are connecting to a place of more in the name of Jesus. You are connecting to the grace and the anointing of harvest, meeting harvest in your lives. You are connecting to the grace that will make you to quantum leap in every area of your life. In the name of Jesus, I give God praise, glory, and honor for breaking new grounds. Hallelujah. We give God praise, glory, and honor. Welcome home. Welcome home in the name of Jesus. Welcome home in the name of Jesus. I'll ask you at the end of the service, please make sure you get your things. And he'll just have a short word in telling you when is our next partnership class and what is it that you need to do. But welcome home. This is home in the name of Jesus. This is home in the name of Jesus. I thought you'd be more excited for your brothers and your sisters that are joining home. Hallelujah. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen and amen. God richly bless you. If you need prayer, you will find us here. But may God richly, richly bless you. Welcome home. Thank you very much. Yebo sing a shona pige Jehovah o mesi suna kuwe yeke agekomo agekomo yeah oh fana na we Jesus sing a shona pipa. Oh, 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 oh,